Hi guys, welcome to another Gold Lap Guide. This time we take on Deep Forest with the Mustang GT350 in the latest online lap time challenge. I've currently got a gold time, so I'll show you what I did to achieve that. Now, I do like this combo, but this car can get a little bit slidey at times, so stick around to the end. I'm sure you'll pick up a few helpful tips. So starting the lap, you can use all the revs in this car, no problem at all. First braking point, turn one, is just before the 150 marker on the right hand side, somewhere 160 to 170 meters, and I like to go down to second gear. Now you can't downshift too aggressively in this car, you will upset the rear of it and get even more sideways. But I'm down to third, down to second, and then I'm just gonna manage to slide on the way. I want the car to slide a little bit, but I don't want it to go too far. Once you get a comfortable amount of rotation get back on the power start to introduce the power again to reduce that slide it's a bit of a balancing act but with a bit of practice you should get it use all this curve on the right hand side you can keep two tires on the red and white you should be fine into the next bit i'm going to take a good chunk of this curb on the left hand side try and open up this right hander stay in third a little dab of the brakes get the car a little bit sideways take as much of this curb as well then it's a little dab of the brakes into this corner take as much of this curb as you can without invalidating your lap try and get more left than i do here and around where this arrow is on the left hand side i'm going to brake a bit more and go down to second gear now you don't want to take too much speed into this because you'll go sideways but get the car down into this curb here manage the slide back on the throttle to manage that use all the circuit on the left hand side and power your way out to the next corner now what i like to do is i'll have a little dab of the brakes in second just to try and keep the car tight to this inside corner and i'm back in third gear a bit wide there try and keep it a bit tighter if you can and get the throttle down be careful of this green astroturf on the inside don't get too close to this barrier you can easily spin the car next bit just where this curbing is here, there's a tiny little dab of the brakes. Stay in third gear, a little dab of the brakes to take this quick left-hander down the hill. So a brake to around about 50-60%, more than a little dab. And trail off, get as close to this barrier on the inside as you possibly can. Stay in third gear, use all the circuit on the outside. Next braking point is somewhere along this bridge, maybe halfway across it where this arrow is roughly, somewhere halfway across this light grey section, and I will go down to second gear. So I'll hard on the brakes for a brief moment, down to second gear, try and hook the car into this apex as best you can. Be careful not to slide the car too much on the way in, as soon as you feel comfortable, get back on the throttle again. And when you do get the power down, be patient with it. Don't go straight to 100%. You'll get too much wheel spin. Try 80%, 90%, let the car settle, and then to 100%. Should have a much better time accelerating this car. And as always, guys, if you get any value out of this at all, then please do hit the like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for your support. Next breaking point. Just before the 150 barrier again, there's a little ambulance on the right-hand side. I think it's an ambulance, possibly little pickup truck whatever it is somewhere around there 160 170 meters and we're going to go down to first gear now again on the gear shift with this be careful not to gear down too quickly you don't need to there's only four gears you don't have to smash down the gears here i use a bit of this curve on the right hand side try and open this corner out a little bit i don't know if that really helps uh, try and take as much of this apex as possible i get a little bit wide don't quite get the apex back to second gear again not quite 100% until I'm comfortable. Now 100%, third gear, and back to fourth gear. And this next corner, just be careful you don't take this corner too sharply because you can run out of road on the left hand side. So somewhere in the middle of the track, take as much of that curb as you can, should end up just around the exit of the curb of that corner. We'll cross the line in a one minute, 45.808, which is good enough at the moment for 1.59% uh, and a rather uninspiring 139th in the world. Now doing these time trials is all well and good, but you've got to make sure you're not making the five deadly sins of sim racing. To find out what those are, click this video right here. Thanks for watching guys, take care, I'll see you soon.